My name is Tim Ellsworth. I'm the product planning manager for Azuzu Commercial Truck of America, and we're here to do a walk around on the 2018 model year FTR. So this is a true class six truck. It's got a GVWR of 25,950 pounds. And I like to refer to this truck as kind of an end series on steroids. It's slightly taller, slightly wider, and uh, slightly longer than our end series product. There's a difference here though. The front panel on this truck actually opens up, which allows us to gain access to service points for maintenance and other service aspects. As you can see, the front panel lifts up. There's a prop rod to support the front panel. And the first thing you might notice is the washer fluid reservoir. You'll also see items such as the treadle valve for the brake system, the windshield wiper linkage, some HVAC service points, and below the front panel you can see there's a grill located here that's removable that'll gain extra access to other components underneath that front panel that might need to be accessed uh, under the cab, such as the HVAC components, electrical wiring, and other controllers. So the FTR comes standard with 96 inch wide mirrors to accommodate 96 inch wide bodies. The mirrors are retractable and they do have detents so they'll stay in place when you, when you fold them back into position. Another option for the mirror system is a 102 wide mirror stay which allows you to install 102 wide bodies and have the mirror arms stretched out a little bit further on the vehicle to gain the visibility that's required. Behind the front wheel, you're going to see a Dana front axle rated at 12,000 pounds, and it's notable here that our axle hubs are oil filled. So this Dana front axle has a 50 degree inner wheel cut, and that's going to allow for the excellent turning radius that all of our low cab forward vehicles are capable of. Next to the axle, you're going to see the front suspension. It's a tapered leaf front suspension, also rated at 12,000 pounds, giving this vehicle an overall GAWR in the front of 12,000 pounds. So I'm going to open the cab door on the passenger side. The first thing you're going to notice about this truck when you open the cab is the fully trimmed inside of the cab. It's got three across seating. The driver and passenger seat both recline, but also the center seat folds down. And on the back side of that center seat is a work surface and also a storage compartment inside similar to a glove box. On the floor of the truck, you'll notice there's heavy duty floor mats. They come standard as well. The truck comes with a front and rear grab handle to make ingress and egress a little bit easier for you. Up top we have overhead storage compartments with doors on them and one of the big things I like about this truck is it's got this extra large cab so when you fold the seats down you can notice in the back there's a lot of extra storage space for all of your equipment or goods. Behind the cab the first piece of equipment we like to talk about is the Donaldson single stage air cleaner. It's just an air canister filter, again single stage. Behind that air cleaner you're going to see our compact SCR and DPF system. It's our exhaust after treatment system. Very similar to what we have on our N-Series. The truck is available in eight different wheelbases, starting at the shortest wheelbase of 152 inches, moving up to the longest wheelbase at 248 inches. Within that wheelbase range it's going to allow for bodies with a range of 14 foot on up to 30 foot. One of the first things that you'll probably notice if you're not familiar with it is the air brake system, the brake chamber at the rear here. This is a full air service brake S-cam drum system with four-wheel ABS. The brake chambers are attached to a Dana rear axle. That axle is rated at 19,000 pounds and it's got a final ratio of 6.17. The suspension on the rear end is a bolted multi-leaf suspension and it's rated at 21,000 pounds. However, I mentioned that the rear axle is rated at 19,000 pounds, so the overall rear end of this truck has a GAWR of 19,000 pounds. As we get to the back end of this truck, you're going to notice that it has a near industry standard frame width of 33 and a half inches. At the back end of the truck, we have a bodybuilder connector to support all of the body application needs. So on this truck, you're going to notice this large aluminum fuel tank. This is a longer wheelbase, so it's got a 100 gallon fuel tank on it. In front of the fuel tank, you're going to notice the Bendix heated air dryer. Again, this is a full air brake system and we're using Bendix as our source. In front of the heated air dryer, you're going to notice our fuel sedimenter, which is also equipped with a priming pump in the event that you need to prime fuel to the engine. In front of the fuel filter or the fuel sedimenter is our 4.2 gallon heated DEF tank. It is also equipped with a DEF quality sensor to help prevent contaminants from getting into the DEF injection stream. The FTR is equipped with our 4HK1TC diesel engine. It's a 5.2 liter diesel engine and it produces 215 horsepower and 520 pound-feet of torque. This engine has a 10,000 mile oil change interval and the overall vehicle comes with a 36 month unlimited mileage warranty. There is an optional warranty for engine and emissions that warranty is 60 month, 200,000 miles. The 4HK1 engine used on the FTR in this configuration is capable of providing you with anywhere from eight to 10 miles per gallon, depending on your driving habits. 
mated to the engine is an Allison 2550 RDS automatic six-speed transmission. This transmission, being the 2550 RDS, is equipped with a parking pole. So on the transmission shifter in the cab, you're going to notice a park position. This transmission is also capable of PTO, so we're utilizing the left-hand PTO pad located here. The first thing you probably notice on the driver's side is this fully adjustable air suspension seat. All FTRs come standard with an air suspension seat. Other features of the cab from the driver's side are the power windows and door locks. It comes standard with air conditioning. It comes standard with an AM FM CD Bluetooth radio. Last but not least is our multi-information display, which provides the driver with all of the indications needed to operate this vehicle. Thanks for spending some time with me for the FTR walk around. The last thing I'd like to say is if you're interested in this vehicle, please stop by your local Isuzu dealer and take one for a test drive. Thank you again.